Hello everyone and welcome to Blog Runner Everything and welcome back to this channel and a special welcome to all my first time visitors. This is a channel dedicated to FC Barcelona and to bringing you match previews, reviews, analysis, squad news, transfer news, the latest developments and unique takes about FC Barcelona. Starting this month, I'll be introducing these videos where I will take a look back at team performances from the just ended month and then I will pick out the standout performance including a player of the month as well as the most improved players. Owing to the fact that March saw Barcelona employ some new tactical shapes implementing Kuman Bo as the kids are calling it, many of the players I will mention all their presence on the list to that particular tactical implementation. Having said all of that, there were quite a few players to choose from here, but I think that with all things considered, the following five players are the best performers for March. Those players were Frankie de Jong, Usman Dembele, Sergio Busquets, Jordi Alba, and Lionel Messi. I'll start by talking about Usman Dembele and Frankie de Jong. The two are probably the most structurally crucial players to the 3-4-3 and 3-5-2 systems that we have seen Kuman deploy as Barca have found form recently. De Jong has been important to the way in which Barcelona defend counter-attacks, how they build from the back, and also how they are able to outnumber the opposition in midfield areas in order to progress the ball by playing through presses. Dembele, on the other hand, has been vital to the attacking phases of Barcelona's play as he provides the crucial verticality that Barcelona need for quick offensive transitions as well as pushing back the opponent's backline so as to make more space between the opposition's defenders and midfielders, space in which players like Messi, Pedri and Busquets can pick passes. Dembele of course also contributed with some goals during March, having scored two absolutely wonderful goals, one against Sevilla and another one against Sociedad. My next top performer from March was Sergio Busquets. Like De Jong and Dembele, he too has been a real gem in the new system that Coleman has been using since around the end of February. In fact, Busquets has looked so rejuvenated at the heart of that four or five man midfield that he has made talk of his demise seem very, very, as in very misguided. A lot of the criticism leveled at him early in the season was that he couldn't run. But in truth, Busquets has never been a running man. He always relied on the running of those around him whilst focusing on what he does best, which is reading the passage of play, intercepting passes, and dictating the flow of the game, as well as, you know, recycling possession. Busquets, though, even managed to chip in with two assists during the month of March, both of them to Messi, of course, so he was definitely deserving to be amongst the best performers of the month of March for Barcelona. My next top performer is someone who has really been right up there for the entirety of the season in as far as offensive contributions and it's none other than Jordi Alba. The left back has had a staggering 17 goal contributions this season so far and he is easily enjoying the best form of his life. He has had big performances against Sevilla, Osasuna and Sociedad during the month of March. And like Busquets, he has benefited from the shift to a back three, though it's really more about the defensive solidity he has gained on his part, as offensively, he has been as effective as he was back in the 4-3-3 and the 4-2-3-1 days. Alba only recorded one goal and two assists in March, yeah I say only like he's not a defender, but he did however create five big chances and he hit the crossbar twice in March, so he really could have ended with something like seven or eight goal contributions. Finally, my last name on the list for top performers is the legend himself, Lionel Messi. 2021 continues to go by with the Argentine in imperious form. He has amassed 27 goals and assists so far already, same amount as Real Madrid have managed during the same period. Okay, this man is just like casually performing at the same level as a whole El Clasico rival, you know, a whole Real Madrid. Absolutely bonkers stuff from the man from Rosario. In March alone, he had 9 goals and assists, and I think it's safe to say he has begun to find more joy playing in the three at the back systems, as he gets a lot more movement ahead of him from Usman Dembele and either side of him from Alba and Dest. Also, just looking at the goals he scored in March, a rocket against PSG, a couple of screamers against Wesca, and also that beautiful team goal at Sociedad, it's, it's really a no-brainer that he is the player of the month for March 
And also, in case you forgot, he also had a healthy amount of assists to go with those goals, you know, for the likes of Elish Moriba, Oscar Minguesa, Serginho Dest. Yeah, that's right. He assisted their first goals all in one month. And honestly speaking, it's no surprise that I have picked him to be the player of the month for March. I will now make mention of the most improved player for the month of March. And it was for me a certain Serginho Dest. February is the match when Dest returned from a long injury layoff as Barcelona took on a rampant PSG. His performance in that match left much to be desired, but after settling into the new three at the back system, Dest has looked unplayable in some matches and he has more than justified comparisons with a certain Dani Alves. Yeah, you know, the way he's been linking up with Messi, you know, here I am, you know, Dest, Messi, Desi, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> let's make it a thing, guys. Dest scored two goals against Sociedad and has seen his overall game benefit from having the wonderful Oscar Minguesa playing just behind him as the right centre back of the back three and the understanding between the two has been an impressive one so far. I'm looking forward to seeing more of it in April. That's it for me guys but before I sign off let me know all your thoughts in the comments. Who were your standout performers from March? Was there anyone who you felt I left out? And who was your player of the month? Also, what part of the world are you watching from? You know, I've been wondering that in the back of my mind, but like, I've been forgetting to ask. Um, I'm asking, where are you watching from? Thank you for tuning in once again. Have a great day and for Sabasa.